Hello! Good evening. My name is Miss Crystal Posna and I have a wonderful story to share with you. This story will take you outside of the book. Literally, outside of the square edges of the paper. I want you to pay close attention to the pattern in colors and in dates. Ask yourself what will happen next. The title of the book is The Perfect Square, written and illustrated by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. Notice the color is red. And it was perfectly happy. But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. Certainly isn't. There's lots of new shapes. And if you can tell, the color's changing a bit from red to a red orange. So it made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. Ooh. Anyone notice the change in color? So it made itself into a beautiful garden. On Wednesday, the square was shredded into strips. And now we're into a shade of green. So it made itself into a park. Now who can visualize what color comes next? I'm thinking blue. Teal blue. On Thursday, the square was shattered. So look at all those pieces. So it made itself into a beautiful bridge. Quite fancy and detailed. And on Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. What comes next? What can you do with ribbon? <gasps> so it made itself into a river. Notice the fish splashing. This square certainly is resilient. By Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. Wow. Does anyone ever feel that way by Saturday? Miss Fosnut does. So, after being crumpled and wrinkled, it made itself into a mountain. Good idea. Now what can we do? Hmm. Well, on Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. It waited and waited and waited and nothing happened. We're back to what color? Red. Its four equal sides were confining. Its four matching corners were rigid and cramped. And notice the expression on the square's face. Just frowning. So it made itself into a window. that looked out on a mountain that gave birth to a river that was crossed by a bridge. That led to a park that was home to a garden.
that had at its center a fountain. Pep babbled and giggled and clapped. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you thought outside of the square pages, and I hope you learned something new about how to be resilient. For those of you who have a tough week, thank you. <laughs>